Studios coming to you from the studio. Ah, oh, that's right, in Riverside. I knew you knew that. So how you doing? All right, I am on my way to the Pomona Fairplex for the NHRA World Finals. Today I'm going to get serious. I know that doesn't happen very often, but this is a very serious part of my YouTube channel. I'm going to go interview uh, a group of people that I feel are very important, if not the most important people in the sport of championship NHRA drag racing. I'm talking about DRAW, Drag Racing Association of Women. I am going to go interview them, and when I am finished, there are some people that you might want to listen to <laughs> about DRAW. It's uh, a pro stock driver, a funny car driver, and a top fuel driver. And they have testimonials about DRAW, and it's wonderful. So, let's go to the track, what do you say? Everybody, Crazy Craig Dales coming to you from the YouTube channel of Crazy Craig Dales. Go figure. All right, today you know how I love, well, normally I love to clown around and be funny, but today we're going to do some real serious stuff. This is the serious side of the YouTube channel that I have. And today I'm with DRAW, that stands for Drag Racing Association of Women. It is a nonprofit organization that is funded by donations only. Every single person in this group is a volunteer. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Ladies, this is Rosalie Noble. Noble. And Vicky I... Oswig. Okay. <laughs> Nobody can say that. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't you ladies tell us, you know, where it started, how it started, why, what it's about. Go ahead. Please. I'll let Rosalie tell where it started. Okay. Uh, when Shirley Madoni had a wreck in Canada, uh, it, she was really, really pretty well stressed out over it. Uh, it was in 1985 and a group of the pro wives got together and thought that maybe if they did a fundraising for her, that would help her out. And it was a re unbelievable the response they had for the fundraiser. So then they thought, well, you know, if they're this responsive to one injury, would they not be that responsive to any injury? And so they started as a very small group. Uh, and had a booth on the Midway that sold t-shirts to this. Like what you're doing now. <laughs> to what we're doing now. Um, we, uh, this, this will be our 33rd year in, in next year. Wow. And, um, awesome. And it, it's really, and it's all our workers, as, as you said, it's all volunteers. And uh, we do the la when we started doing the ladder sheets and the qualifying sheets for the sportsman racers. Yes. Then we realized we had to be open the day the races started. Before we just opened on Friday evening and then Saturday and Sunday. But it really became a business after that time. I mean, it, we had to be dedicated. We had to have certain hours, and that's how we've expanded so, to this. We've had to. De we've been fortunate. We can depend on some of the manufacturers to get our merchandise from one race to the next. And uh, it only works because the drag racing community makes it work. That's that's how. Vicky, do you have some? I I just I became involved in draw in about ten years ago through mutual friends here at the drag races they introduced me to draw it is a big portion of my life drag racing's always been my passion i've been involved in some way or another for 25 35 years um, but this organization makes me feel so good about the help that we give racers anyone injured from a 18 second bracket car running on a Wednesday night at your local track up through Top Fuel. Anybody's hurt, we will help them if they're hurt in a drag racing accident at a track yeah. on asphalt. We, on asphalt. We don't do the sand drags. Right. <laughs> That's a good thing. So, or the boat drags. Right. Um, but we've helped. We're on our just over our 900th um, racer that we've helped in the 33 years to a tune of $6 million? Four. Four million dollars. Four million, six thousand. Yeah, six thousand. Four, four million, six hundred thousand yeah. dollars we've handed out to racers who have been injured in the past 33 years. And this is not only for hospital bills, this is for if somebody's having trouble with 
It's for to be used however they need it. If it's how, and that's the one big thing that we hear so often. I would have lost my house. Really? My, I'm buying groceries for my family right. because I can't work. Yeah. They have to be injured seriously enough that they can't work. work. They cannot race. If they race, we don't pay. <laughs> now, but if they're but if they're injured seriously enough where they can't work or participate in normal, or life, their activities. normal life activities, then we give them um, a stipend twice a month. The first and third Wednesday of every month, we send them a check. Yeah. Really? That's up to a year. Up that's, to a year. That's just wonderful. I mean, it's up to you. And it does not have to be just NHRA. Correct. It's any sanction, any sanctioned drag racing event, an organized event. I mean, you know, NHRA, IHRA. P -R -A, P -R -A, P -R -A, but all yeah. these new associations. associations we cover them. That's wonderful. Well, that's Our awesome. biggest problem is knowing about them. Well, I'll tell you what, hopefully this will work. Uh, if you would please tell us how to donate. Uh, you can donate if you're at a, any NHRA national event. Our booth is on the Manufacturers Midway. You can always donate there. We have a website drawonline.org that you go on and donate through that that's through PayPal or you can just mail us a check to 4 Hans Drive, Charleston, Illinois 61920 <laughs> I remember that address because I write it a lot <laughs> 4 Hans Drive Charleston, Illinois, 61920. Did you get that? Did you all get that? <laughs> yeah. And you okay. can go into the National Dragster. There is a business card in the back of the National Dragster that has our information on it. Plus, we have a Facebook page. So we're going to close this uh, with a little donation from yours truly. All of us racers and anybody else who knows a racer, or even if you don't know a racer, any amount of money is very helpful. This is from me to them. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, thank you so much. So what you do is you donate uh, whatever you can, when you can, because someday, you never know, you may need it as well. That's true. And if, if you're ever at a track where there's a drag racing accident and an injury involved, go to our website and contact somebody on there because that's how we find out about us from other racers and from fans. Communication is the key. Remember that. Most certainly. Well, ladies, I definitely appreciate your being with us today on Crazy Craig's YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, and please donate to Draw and ring the bell. I gotta go. <laughs> Hi then, hello again. Crazy Craig Dales back to you from the studio. That was great. I love it out there. Aren't those ladies something? You gotta love them. I do. So enough said about Draw moving right along. You know how wonderful they are. They do some terrific things for some wonderful people. So let's listen to some professional drivers. I have a pro stock driver, two funny car drivers, and a top fuel driver to give a testimonial about draw. Here you go. Well, we've worked with them for, geez, I'd say it goes clear back uh, 15, 20 years that I know of when I was racing super gas and, uh, you know, giving donations and stuff like that, going to the draw auctions that they had at Indianapolis and down in Dallas, and uh, what a show that they have put on for that. And, it, uh, and there's a lot of big names in racing there and, and some big names in the, in the industry itself. And uh, they seem to uh, get quite a gathering at some of their, their deals and auction off some items that go for some pretty big dollars, some really cool stuff like... Uh, you know, you got some John Force helmets, you got Jeff Gordon fire suits, there's, you name it, it's just, a, the list goes on. It's, a, it's, it's quite a venue and we're pretty proud to, uh, to be a part of it. Well, you know, I've been around drag racing forever when Draw was formed. It was just always something I read about. I was a sportsman driver and they were doing a lot of things to help out a lot of the professional drivers and their families. It really hit home to me when I was diagnosed with cancer in 2003, I was really surprised. I was still a sportsman racer and the phone rang and they said, we just need to know, do you need help with any of your bills? And I was pretty blown away by it, but that's when I realized just how much they're doing for that many different people. And from that point on, I've been really dedicated to trying to help them raise funds for the folks that truly needed it. Fortunately, I was in a position where I could still work part time and I told them thanks, but no thanks, but they do some wonderful things for a lot of folks. Well, there's not much you can say about them that hasn't been said before. These are great individuals, uh, women that understand our sport. Um, after the Daryl Gwynn loss in England, they came home, the ladies, a lot of the wives, they rallied. His mom was part of that. And dad and uh, 
and they created something to help the race teams in need. And not just, uh, you know, the drivers, but if a team member was hurt, I had a team member hurt once and they were right there to give a check to try to help him and his family. And uh, it's a great cause. They do a lot of shows around the country, trying to generate revenue. I've, 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 I've tried to make, can't make all of them, but I make some of them. And I always try to make some kind of a, a donation to them because they work hard. It's a good thing, so if you get a chance, think about Draw. Uh, you don't have to be at one of their functions to give. You can go online and, and this man will tell you where you can give and do something that's good. It'll make your heart feel good for a great cause for great people. And I personally want to thank the women that make it happen. Well, I'll tell you what, it is just a fantastic organization. They've been around a long time. And it's an organization that us as racers are so proud this year and we enjoy supporting it because if there's a racer hurt, we know that they help take care of that racer. It's one of those things where you don't want to ever see a racer hurt, but it's nice to know that there's somebody like Draw out there that does help the racers if something that bad happens to them. And so you don't want to have to call on them for that reason, but you do everything you can to help make sure that they're there because they have helped so many people over the years that it just makes you feel good to know that if something were to happen, they're there to help you out. Wow, really? <laughs> it's good stuff, isn't it? I love it. Okay, sure enough. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm, uh, I'm through with this one. I'll move on to the next video to entertain and inform you. Yeah, baby. Uh, please subscribe. Do leave a comment. And I would ring the bell, but look. <laughs> I broke another one. Oh, my God. I got to go. Yeah, baby. You see that? Did you see that? Yeah, baby. Oh my God. It doesn't get much better than that. Don't think that it does. I gotta go.